Uh, anything you guys have right now, it, unless it's like it's totally wrecked and gone meme coin, like anything you guys bought in the last six months or the last year, do not do not sell the whole bag. Even if you took, even if we took profits and stuff, I, I only did that with Pepe just at a certain point because it was so new, and then re bought back in, got bigger bags, took and then took some major W's with it. But like I've learned the lesson. I'd rather like I'd rather leave some little money on the table than fucking you you miss out on that stupid money because you could have you could have something that doesn't do shit the whole cycle, and then the last minute just runs and you're like, I'm so happy I have a bag. I could have had more of a bag, but I know greedy. This good. Yeah. I could have had 1.2 <laughs> million, but now I have 600,000. I'm okay. M4, please. M3, please. <laughs> Cash. Comp, comp, competition, please. Competition, please. Yes. Skyline, maybe. Or I don't oh, know. Dog. I don't even give me so by the time I by the time I have the money to responsibly buy. I only took one. I bought those bags with not, not much money. Yeah, you guys. Like I like I had a mana bag that I paid thirteen thousand dollars that DCA thirteen to fourteen thousand into. Maybe twenty one thousand total. That by the end of the market, it was worth like three point one to four point one million, or no, it was probably more than that. I, I forgot. I, I think I had like one point six million mana, or two million mana, or so at one point, and like mana went to three dollars or some shit like that. Or uh, let me look. Let me let me look at mana. Mana. Do that shit coin. It went to five dollars. So let's see. Let's. I mean, let's let's do the math here. Let's just say it's a loaner. Let's just say it's one point two million tokens times. Let's just say five bucks. Six million dollars. Not bad. Let me see. Let me do. Let me do the math on that. Divided by twenty one. Divided by twenty one thousand dollars. A two hundred and eighty five x. Not bad, and it only and it really only made the move at, at at the end of the market when you didn't see it, yeah. yeah. And I was looking at a twenty one thousand dollar bag. Now, I can just pick them, you know. I'm just you know, <laughs> no, no, but yeah. But it, it, that's what I'm saying is like when at the tail end of the market, everything gets its pump, and then you, even even in some position that that underperformed, you still could get some nice cash out of it. And you're just happy. at the end of the day when you're when you're cashing, you're cashing. And when you're up, the dubs up. are dubs, and then we can make we like we can course correct by these lows again. And I'm telling you, like most all like every influencer is going to be too bearish in the bear market, and they're not. It's not going to go as low as people think this time. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you right now. I'm not. I might not mention this again. <laughs> We're going to be on it, bro. We caught these lows verifiably. There's video video evidence. I bought lower than most of your of your favorite influencers. I promise you that. And in more size. Nansen bought more Solana than me, for sure, though. <laughs> for sure, he bought more Solana than me, 100%. But, you know, yeah, I did okay. 